President Trump is doubling down on his opposition after the NFL protest. He tweeted last night, sports fans should never condone players that do not stand proud for their national anthem or their country. NFL should change policy. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Good morning. A bit of perspective. Tax reform, health care, the budget all face severe congressional tests and very soon. North Korea remains a potential flashpoint. And yet this weekend was all about the president's heated call to fire NFL players who protest racial injustice by kneeling during the national anthem. That merely triggered more protests and rebukes throughout the league. I certainly think the owners should do something about it. Not once, but twice Sunday. They have to respect our flag and they have to respect our country. President Trump amplified his criticism of NFL players peacefully protesting during the national anthem. The president set off the commotion Friday at a campaign rally for Senator Luther Strange in Alabama. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! The majority of voters in that election will be white, and the president used a defense he has mounted for those who want to protect Popular Confederate statues. Because that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for. The next morning, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell called the president's comments divisive and said they demonstrate an unfortunate lack of respect for the NFL. And the rocket's red glare. President Trump watched some of Sunday's games and took the protests as a personal win. I watched a little bit, and I will say that there was tremendous solidarity for our flag and for our country. Throughout the day, the president slammed the NFL and protesting players on Twitter, calling the kneeling not acceptable and said that the games are boring. But football isn't the only sport whose players are unhappy with the president. Basketball superstar LeBron James called the president a bum on Twitter. This guy that we've um, put in charge has, has tried to divide us once again. The president insisted none of this is about race. He also irked the NBA by withdrawing the White House invitation to the champion Golden State Warriors, citing their lack of enthusiasm of being celebrated by Mr. Trump. Charlie, all is not lost. The NHL champion Pittsburgh Penguins have accepted a White House invitation. Major thanks. In our next hour, James Brown of the NFL Today on CBS joins us with his reaction to the protest and the next steps for the league.